I have a lot of geometry in this part because I opened up a SOLIDWORKS solid assembly that has a lot of parts in it. Therefore I have a lot of levels. And it's difficult and time consuming to look through all the levels and find various items to turn their visibility on and off. So to make this task simpler, I'm going to go to the level manager and I'm going to create what are called level sets. So you've noticed I've created some level sets already. The reason I create level sets is because rather than sort by number, I can sort by level set. So we'll go back here and I'm going to add a few level sets. So number four is important to me. It's this big plate and I want to see it. So I'm going to double click in the level set column and I'm going to call it plate. So I'll sort by level sets again. Clicking it once, the arrow's pointing up means all my level sets are at the bottom. I click it again, the arrow's pointing down, all my level sets are at the top. So again I'm going to sort by number ascending. I'm going to scroll down. I need to create a few more level sets. And down here near the bottom for level 1105 I'm going to call them second. So I'll double click in the level set column. I can also copy and paste this with the control C and I'll go down to 1005 and control V press enter to create the name and I want to name a couple more levels so 1002 is the beginning and then 1001 and 1004 I'm going to call first So I'm double clicking, entering the name, and again I can sort by level sets, bring them up to the top, and when I want to turn the visibility on and off, it's a lot easier to find things that are important to me based on the level set name. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to click OK and save my work.